Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement, Dano Dungeon. Okay, so today we are going to add a new 3D puzzle figure sent to us by a Dan Safarian to our collection. And it's been a long time since we have taken a look at our 3D animals collection right here. Okay, so plenty of them. Let's go through every single one together and place them back into the box. Probably some of them will need to be cleaned up as well, so let's do this guys. Alright guys, so let's have a look at the latest figure, which is a bear, I think. So let's try to fix this together. Um, let's place in the head first. So very nice. The body, let's see how we can actually do this. I'm not too sure which is the right side. Probably like this. Yeah, there we go. And now for the bottom part of the body. So this is actually from 4D Master, which is a very nice brand that actually produces very high quality 3D puzzles, okay? So sent to us by a Dan Safarian, you know, by the name of Jeremiah. He has been sending us a lot of figures. So this is basically a brown bear. So this figure is very new, so it doesn't need to be cleaned up. So we're just gonna put it right over here. I'm gonna move the figures over so that you guys can have a look at how I'm putting it into the box. Okay, next up, we have a polar bear. So this is basically another 3D puzzle as you guys can see. So what I'm gonna do for every figure is that I'm just gonna clean them slightly, but not, you know, too much because they're not exactly like super dirty. Okay, next, we have a crocodile, I think. Is this a crocodile or, or is this an alligator? I think it's a crocodile. I think so. But it doesn't have, um, you know, it has a missing leg. So I'm just gonna put this aside first. And um, hopefully we'll find the missing leg um, later on. And here's a seahorse. Of course, you're able to like fix this. So let's just try to make sure that the joints are all, you know, pretty stable. Next, we have a panda bear. So this is quite a nice one, giant panda comes in different pieces. This is actually not from 4D Master. Um, it's from another brand, which is like brandless. And it's basically like a bootleg figure. Okay, here we have um, a pig, a female pig, a soul. Okay, you can see um, this is actually a pig. Very nice. And we have a cowfish. This one is known as a cowfish. You can see it has like horns in front, which is quite an interesting looking fish. So let's just place this fish back into the box. Let's go to the next one. We have a rooster, I think, and it doesn't have a tail. So just gonna put this aside. We will try to find a different missing pieces later on. Here we have an alligator snapping turtle. This is actually from 4D Master. So the quality is actually very good as compared to the rest of them. So alligator snapping turtle, they have a very huge bite for us, so you have to be really careful. Okay, this one seems to be, you know, this one is definitely a bootleg version. This is the original, and this one is the bootleg. And um, instead of a brown bear, they have actually painted it um, black. So it's a black bear, a different species, I suppose. Okay, you can put this back into the box. Next, I think we have a roach, a cockroach. Yeah, this can be pretty scary looking for some of you. Next, we have a wolf, an arctic wolf. Quite a nice figure. It comes in, um, you know, a, a couple of pieces. And we do have another one, which is um, pretty much similar, but the colors are slightly different. Okay, another one right here, which is another color variant as well. But all the colors looks, you know, the colors look almost exactly the same. You can see this one has a brown tone. This one has a more, a lighter shade of yellow, and this one has like a darker shade of orange, which is quite cute. Next, we have a koala right here. I think this figure is quite a high quality figure as well. It's not too dirty. Next, um, let's have a look at this. We have a giraffe, but the legs are actually very loose, as you guys can see. And the paint is kind of like sticky. This is the reason of, um, you know, the bootleg figures. They don't use high quality paint 
to paint the figures, which is why sometimes they get dirty after some time. Next, we have a Bactrin camo. This is from 4D Master. So it's a really high quality one. So Bactrin camos, they actually have these two homes which are used to store food and water. Okay, let's try to fix this. Yep. Cool. All right, next we have a Waris. So it comes in different parts as well. Let's try to fix it back. So Waris, they used a huge task to anchor themselves down onto the ocean seafloor. All right, let's see what else we've got. Our sea turtle. Okay, the sea turtle is very, very dirty. I can feel it. I definitely have to wash my hands after this. And you can clearly tell this figures you know, because the the paint on these figures, they are not of high quality paint. So it's not very good for sure. Okay, next we have a rhinoceros and this one seems to be an Indian rhinoceros. But the Indian, Indian rhinoceros seems to have um drooping ears or th this could be a Sumatran rhino. Kind of a nice figure. Here we have a zebra. And here's a missing body. Are we able to find the missing lake immediately? If we are, that would be cool. Nope. But I found the lake of the crocodile. So we can just pop it right in. This crocodile, it's very dirty for sure. So let me just try to give it a good wipe down. Yeah, you can see the lakes are falling apart very easily. Crocodiles have a very narrow snot, triangular snot as compared to the alligator which has a more rectangular snot. This is the tail of a gecko. Are we able to spot the gecko? Yeah, it's right here guys. Okay, but we need to fix the legs as well. So just, we have found one of the legs. Just one of them. Not too sure whether I'm able to pop it right in. Seems to be quite difficult. Okay, let me just try to pop this in first. Yeah, we are able to fix one in, but of course we need to find the other leg um, as soon as possible. Okay, this is a tail. The tail of a chameleon, if I'm not wrong. It's fine. Just take a look at the other figures. Okay, this is our hedgehog. Very adorable. We have a lion with a missing leg. Yes. Here's the lake, so just let's just pop it right in. So this is also from 4D Master. Quite a cool figure. So lion, the roars of lion are actually super loud. They can be heard from miles away. Next, we have an emperor penguin, guys. So emperor penguins are basically the largest species of penguins around. And you can see the body is split into multiple layers, which is kind of cute. All right. Let's move on. Another zebra with a missing body. So we'll come back to that later on. But I found um, a gray whale. A gray whale and this is basically the body. Very nice, this figure is still pretty clean. And here with an ochre. Let's see whether we are able to clean this paint off. I don't think so. So all cars are also known as killer whales, they hunt in groups they have very good teamwork i've seen don i've seen them taken down like you know small little animals using different strategies it was amazing here we have a dog is a pomeranian very adorable species and here we have another fish i can't remember the name of this fish so if you guys know do comment down below all right next up Let's have a look at this. We have a frog right here, a very colorful frog. I know there is a, a theory that says that, you know, if a frog is really colorful, it is actually more poisonous. Not too sure about how true is that, but yep. Here with a humpback whale. Let's just try to clean this a little bit. Humpback whale, you can easily recognize them by the little bumps on his body. Okay, this is basically the fruit neck lizard. 
and this is the tail you can just pop it right in beautiful one so whenever they are like agitated or they try to like defend themselves they will open up its frill to make themselves look bigger very nice another polar bear um, i've already shown you guys one polar bear figure just now so this is basically the same one we have a little squirrel right here super adorable snow leopard snow leopard they they have very thick fur okay that will keep them warm in the cold regions and of course they have a very long tail to help them balance their body because they are always climbing mountains snowy mountains Okay, next up, we have a corgi right here. Adorable one. And here we have, you know, um, an anaconda fighting and a crocodile. Very, very cool little figure right here. Yeah, you can actually remove them. Next, we have a hammerhead shark. Yeah, I love this figure because, you know, when Dance Surprise first started, we actually started off with all these 3D sea animals. Very nice dolphin right here. Next, we have a silverback gorilla. Looks very weird in terms of the paint paint scheme. I'm trying to clean it. Yep. Oh, here we have a zebra. Just pop it right in. So do you guys know that zebras, the straps of the zebra actually have a very cool function they will actually drive um mosquitoes away so mosquitoes are actually afraid of the stripes i think it makes them go like dizzy <laughs> so they don't actually you know approach the zebra so and zebras actually sleep while they are standing up great white shark great sense of smell they can smell like you know blood from miles away Okay, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember this, the, the name of the sea animal, so if you guys know, let me know down below. Here, we have a mentari, alright? Let's see what else we've got. The leg of a zebra, yes, we can finally fix this, but we are still missing its tail. It's okay, it should be somewhere around here. Um, this is a beagle. A beagle, it's a hunting dog, so they have excellent sense of smell and they are able to retrieve hunts, you know, by their owners. Siamese cat. And here the weasel. Very cute looking. Um, what is this known as? Oh dear, I can't remember. An eland. I think it's an eland. If I'm not wrong. A Shizu. Very adorable species of dog. Breed of dog. I have a Shizu at home and his name is Tutu. You guys know, know him. He's a very playful and kind of like hot tempered <laughs> dog, I would say. When you scold him, if you scold him, he will growl back at you. He is he is pretty he has a fantastic he has an attitude for sure. This is an Indian star tortoise. Okay. Um, a buffalo from 4D Master. And not a frog. And this is a blue one this time. I'm trying to clean this. Some of the figures are really dirty. Oops. Marine Iguana. Very cool figure from 4D Master. Yeah, and you can actually see another baby iguana on top. They're huge, by the way. Um, this is a Great Dane, if I'm not wrong. Okay, let me just get another piece of that white. Alright. Another frog. Here we have a rattlesnake. How do we pop this in? Yep, there you go, a rattlesnake. So this 
tail right here will actually rattle and create a sound. Okay. Um, chameleon, veiled chameleon to be exact. Yep, they have a long tongue that can stretch and um, catch his prey. Harp seal from 4D Master. I think it's a harp seal, I think so. Um, oh dear, I can't remember the name of this species of dog, but I know that they are extremely good at saving people. Another green frog. Beluga whale. Nice one. And this is a Dalmatian. Beautiful Dalmatian. This is a rock hopper penguin, quite a nice figure from you know 4D Master as well. You can clearly recognize it by its hairstyle. Next we have the bald eagle. Do you guys know that it is actually illegal to own any bald eagle artifacts, even a feather. You're not you're not allowed to even own a single piece of its feather. Because they are highly protected. Okay, next we have the elephant. So let's try to um, fix this. Okay, here's the elephant. And elephants, they are the largest species of um, animals on earth. Here have a tiny little elephant, very adorable. Here we have a gecko, very very beautiful little figure. Another Siamese cat. This is a bull terrier if I'm not wrong. Okay. A mini leopard. A cat, a tabby cat, a ladybird with some missing legs, I think, but it's okay. And here we have a beetle. This is a stack beetle. This is a housefly. Yeah, it looks really good. I mean, it's very, very accurate looking. Oh my goodness. So. Give me a second guys, I need to fix this. The body keeps dropping off. Yep, so this is a housefly. Here we have a desert tortoise, giant tortoise. Beautiful figure. Let's clean this. A horse. Beautiful shiny black horse. Another frog. Oh, we actually have um the gecko right here, the other lake. So let's try to fix it back. Okay, here's the gecko, a zambut, and we have a, a park. Very adorable. And this is a f um, what do you call this? Flying squirrel. Okay, the ladybird. We are still missing um the legs. So a mini giraffe, a cow. This is extremely dirty. Yeah, you can see the paint is like coming off. Um, if I'm not wrong, this is a rhinoceros beetle. Tarantula spider. Pretty scary looking, right? This is a warps. Beautiful warps. You know, the wings, you can actually move them. 
grasshopper. I think it has a missing leg. But if, um, I think this filler, I can definitely pop it right in. But where's the other leg? Is this the one? Nope, I don't think so. This belongs to this beetle right here, which I have no idea what kind of beetle it is. It's a really beautiful one for sure. Another frog. Some of the paint is really, really bad, I would say. Oh, this is the rooster. Yeah, the tail of the rooster. Let's just pop it right in. Cool. Finally done. This is actually the stand for um, the seahorse. Use the lion. The sheep. A tiny little panda. Yeah, I'm trying to clean this. I'm just making like small little. Just cleaning them, you know. Not very detailedly, I would say, but just giving them a very quick. Uh, clean. Oh, this actually belongs to the weasel, I think. Or is this? Does this belongs to another dog? This one should be the rhinoceros beetle, guys. Quite a nice one. And here we have a moose. A moose. Okay, moose are really huge animals. Here's a zebra, but I think we have already lost the tail, so I think it's fine. The ladybird, yeah, there's def definitely missing parts here and there for sure, but it's okay. It's all right. All right, so this is basically my collection of um, 3D animals. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, hopefully you'll be able to expand our collection again, but I will definitely need to clean the figures up one small for sure. Alright, thanks for watching this. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.